guys, everything is smaller today, so we're gonna do a mini greenhouse update. I don't know why it's smaller, but it works with what I was saying. So right here is a pitcher that just opened. It's the biggest Nepenthes pitcher that I've ever had. It is bigger than my Nepenthes Momoka pitchers, which uh, have a really on it in it. But this is just Bongzo and Vitroposa, and I think maybe some Sipuanensis in there, and I think that's it pretty much. But um, this is like one of my favorite pitchers ever. It's a really nice plant. You can see the peristome is very flared out and everything. I'll be able to put things inside of here that are big. And here's the plant that it's from. Um, it's coming off of this leaf right here, which is kind of an older one, but it's making a second picture back there in the back. You can see it's swinging. And um, it's going to make more pictures of it. Let's roll back there. And these are the leaves and stuff up here, which is cool. In other news, some of my Nepenthes are beginning to flower because it's spring, I guess, and they flower in the spring and fall or whatever. This one is this one, which is Nepenthes ventricosa by Dubia. And one that you guys may remember flowered a while ago, and um, it still has this flower stalk on it. I harvested the seeds, and um, it's making another flower stalk, so just like six months later, which is nice. Lastly, here are some seedlings that I moved out to the greenhouse a few months ago. Thank you guys for watching, and if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and favorite the video because it really helps me out, and share the video with your friends because they'll enjoy it, maybe not. Um, so I'll see you guys later, bye. Subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, so another update on my Nepenthes collection. Uh, today we're just going to focus on a few of the cooler ones. So let's start off with my Nepenthes Jacqueline.